Hi, this is Mr. Mike for the Mechanicsburg Learning Center with episode 60, 60 of Mr. Mike's Dino a Day. And uh, very, very happy to do 60 episodes, 60 days in a row of uh, dino fun, teaching you about a different dinosaur or ancient animal every single day. Today's animal is called Beckel Spinax. Beckel Spinax, what I think is one of the funniest names. Beckel Spinax, uh, you ask most people, do you ever hear a Beckel Spinax? They'll think you're talking about a new ice cream flavor or something. It doesn't really sound like a dinosaur, but nonetheless, it is. Beckel Spinax was uh, discovered in the 1850s. There's even some controversy over that uh, because there was a publication that came out, I believe it was 1884, and mentioned Beckel Spinax or mentioned the species that it was called at the time because the name is, has continued to change throughout the years and because of that so it was discovered in 1884 actually it was discovered back in the 1850s and by a gentleman named Samuel Beckles now at the time it wasn't called Beckel Spinax at the time uh, Samuel Beckles turned around and showed this to the person that he was working for he was digging up fossils uh, and being paid to do so by none other than Sir Richard Owen. Sir Richard Owen, the originator of the word dinosaur, the gentleman that took these early species, Megalosaurus, Iguanodon, and came up with the word dinosauria, which we now call the whole entire group of these guys dinosaurs. So he took it to Sir Richard Owen. Owen looked at it and said, hmm, well, this is definitely based on the fossil evidence. And here's the fossil evidence he has. This is a lithograph of the actual look of the bones. Now what you have here is the vertebra right here and then coming off the vertebra some tall neural spines and these would have stuck out of the skin and perhaps made some some sort of a, uh, a sail coming off the top of the animal but this is all we had of the entire animal three spines. So uh, Richard Owen thought that they belonged to the Megalosaurus. He was had no idea that there was going to be so many different kinds of genuses of dinosaur. At that time, they literally had a handful. So he assigned it to Megalosaurus, and that was in 1856, and published on it. And then, uh, another before, which is what caused the confusion of when the whole thing was discovered. But through the years, there have been several uh, uh, additional studies done on these three bones, and they keep assigning them to different animals. Um, it was done in 1888 by a Richard Lidecker, who took a look at a tooth and assumed that the tooth belonged to the same animal as the bones and called it something. 1923 rolls around and uh, Friedrich von Huhn calls the thing Altispinax, which means high spine. So the whole dinosaur was named Altispinax. But once again, uh, continuing to research, the, the years roll on. And now it's 1991 and none other than George Olszewski finally gives it the name Beckel Spinax, secondary name, <laughs> Alta Spinax. So he took the name of what Friedrich von Huhn called it and made that the species name under the genus name Beckel Spinax. Now, Beckel Spinax, obviously named after Samuel Beckel, so Beckel Spinax means Beckel's spine, second name Alta Spinax means high spine. So the name really means high-spined Beckel's spine. A little redundant, but you know that's how it goes. Now, 2010 comes around, and a near-complete skeleton is unearthed. This is it. Now, notice, what do you notice immediately about the animal? Well, of course, you notice this crazy-looking hump back here. And they believe that this is very similar to the spines that I showed you earlier, uh, that it didn't have a complete sail, it had this thing. This thing is named Concavenator. Concavenator looks a little bit like T-Rex, and we think it is very closely uh, uh, either a cousin or, or it could in fact be the same exact dinosaur as Beckel Spinax. But the name Beckel Spinax uh, came first. So right now, Concavenator looks an awful lot like Beckel Spinax. They may end up becoming the same uh, genus at some point, but as for now, uh, they are separate. Uh, so, you can look at this animal and we can make some uh, scientific assumptions that Beckel Spinax looks similar. Carnivorous, sharp claws, three fingers, long tail, 
and some sort of crazy hump back there. So that was discovered in 2010. And uh, however, the thing that's interesting about these two, the, these two discoveries, Beckel spinax was dated about 128 million years ago. And so there's a 10 million year separation in terms of when these animals lived from Beckel, Beckel spinax to concavenator. So over a 10 million year period, certainly even if they started out as the same kind of looking animal, they could have evolved into some very different looking things. So Sir Richard Owen thinks it's a megalosaur and then it finally comes out in uh, 20 uh, sorry 1991 that the thing has been called Beckel spinax now interestingly we've never talked about the uh, Crystal Palace before in London Crystal Palace in the mid 1850s a particular gentleman by the name of Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins was doing some sculptures for the opening of a really cool looking park that was going to show what dinosaurs looked like to the public for the first time. Show it to the public in what we tried to make it look like their natural environment. So uh, Hawkins made these uh, series of big statues as lifelike as he possibly could. And of course the ones that were represented were the ones that the dinosaurs knew about at the time and they were Megalosaurus, uh, Iguanodon, uh, maybe Elasmosaurus, some of these early uh, discoveries, many of them by uh, O.C. Marsh and uh, Edward Drinker Cope, and of course some of made uh, made popular by Sir Richard Owen. So Owen says to Hawkins, "Now listen, we've discovered these very interesting spines that he thought believed the Megalosaurus. So when you're making the Megalosaurus, make sure you give it a hump on its back, and that will be as scientifically accurate for the Megalosaurus statue as uh, humanly possible." So what ended up happening was Megalosaurus incorporated the back spine of Beckel spinax. So Beckel spinax, even though uh, it's no one knows the name, it has a little bit of representation in the uh, Crystal Palace statues. So there you go. So let me read you the poem all about Beckel spinax, one of the silliest dinosaur names I've ever heard. Listen closely and try not to laugh. Once again, we will show you the animal that comes close to it, probably very similar, the concavenator, but in this case, we're talking about Beckel spinax. It's hard to find a dino name more unconventional. When I recite the name, a smirk is unintentional. So brace yourself, no need to giggle or let out a laugh. I'll try to gain control as I complete this paragraph. We named it Beckel Spinax, and its history is strange, and since discovery, its very name's been fraught with change. The problem is, there aren't a lot of specimens to test. We only have three backbones, and we haven't found the rest. At first, Sir Richard Owen said, This is a Megalosaur. But in the 1850s, there were others not so sure. But Owen kept insisting, and he contacted a man to build a bunch of models for a park in which they'd stand. The sculptor's name was Hawkins. His first name was Benjamin and Owen gave instructions how the backbones should fit in. The sculptures were for Crystal Palace Park, and they must be as close to scientific fact with flaw. So, Beckel Spinax backbones were included as a bump, adorning Megalosaurus as a captivating hump. Of course, the Beckel Spinax name did not even appear, so no one left with any Beckel Spinax souvenir. Fast forward now to 2010, in Spain, they planted trees, which happened to produce some staggering discoveries. They found a dinosaur that had a hump upon its back, declared concavenator, because they felt it could attack. Concavenator looks a lot like Beckel, I must say, but don't jump to conclusions, probably better to delay. It was the 1850s we first found this dinosaur. We've waited an extended time. I guess we'll wait some more. The Beckel Spinax Poem by Mr. Mike, brought to you by the Mechanicsburg Learning Center. We do this live every day on Facebook, Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m., and then we post them all to Mr. Mike Scrignoli, uh, own page on YouTube. So thank you for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. We will do it again tomorrow when we'll learn about another, episode, another dinosaur for Episode 61. So thanks for watching.